Let's talk about hand speed. In order to increase your club head speed, you gotta know when those hands need to go fast and when those hands need to slow down. Let's get into it. It's a known fact that the fastest golfers on the planet get to the top of their swing and then as they start down, those hands are accelerating till about lead arm parallel in the downswing. However, I think there's a big misconception out there to the average golfer of how that hand speed is actually being created. And it stems from the idea that once these golfers get to the top, they need to pull their arms down as fast as they can, pulling the arm away from the chest. And the reality is there's gonna be a lot of negative consequences to that later in the swing. If we focus in on Jake Knapp's swing, one of the things we'll see is once he gets to the top of his swing, there's a big stretch from his right shoulder all the way down to his left hip. He's loading his core. And effectively, what that does is he's basically pulling the rubber band back. And once he starts to change direction, that rubber band lets go. And because he created that stretch from that change of direction, that is ultimately what is speeding the hands up. So it, it's a very passive hand speeding up. And this is why, in my opinion, you hear a lot of really good golfers say that if they're patient at the top, they get effortless speed because you're allowing this process to actually happen. Now, obviously it's important for those hands to speed up through the transition. However, in order to ultimately increase your club head speed, it's very important that from lead arm parallel down to impact, those hands actually start to slow down. That's ultimately how we transfer energy to the end of the club, very similar to cracking a whip. If I was gonna crack a whip, I would accelerate my hand towards the target and then basically once I start to decelerate that hand, that's what allows that whip to actually crack. Now, one of the things we talk about in our blueprint on hipbombs.com is making sure that as we wind up to the top, we eventually get back to our lead side, okay? If we can get access to our lead side and then use the ground as something we can push off of, then ultimately that process is what starts to slow the hands down but also pull up on the handle, okay? Which allows the club head to eventually accelerate. So yes, we want the hands accelerating through the transition. However, there's a point where those hands have to slow down. And a lot of times when we see leaks from a club head speed standpoint, the hands will be accelerating very late into the downswing or they might slow down, but then eventually speed up. And that's a sign of inefficient movement. So if you're one of those players who feels like their club head speed is capped, you're not being super efficient, or I uh, hear this a lot, the player who's fast with their irons, but they can't translate that to a fast driver club head speed. We really wanna look at what your hands are doing and there's probably a good chance that those hands are accelerating too far into the downswing. And ultimately we have to work on the deceleration of your swing in order to increase your club head speed.